Krusty Gets Busted is the 12th episode of The Simpsons' first season. It originally aired on April 29th, 1990. In this episode, Krusty the Clown is accused, tried, and convicted of robbing the Quickie Mart, and Sideshow Bob takes his place as TV show host. Bart, however, believes that Krusty was framed. He enlists Lisa's help, and together they uncover the truth behind the robbery. The episode starts with Bart, Lisa, and Maggie watching Krusty the Clown without a care, while Marge's sisters Patty and Selma come over to showcase their trip to Mexico. Meanwhile, Homer is at the Quickie Mart and he notices quote unquote Krusty robbing Apu. While Krusty is home, he is suddenly arrested by the SWAT team. <laughs> Hey, hey, what's going on here? Rusty the Clown, you're under arrest for armed robbery. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, blah, 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 blah. It's a joke. The robbery makes the news, and Bart is terribly shocked. You're my best friend. Thanks, Krusty. Buy my cereal. <laughs> Buy my cereal. <laughs> I didn't do it. Well, I wish I could believe you. The next day, Krusty is found guilty in court, and Reverend Lovejoy encourages the town to join him in burning all of Krusty's merchandise. Later, Sideshow Bob becomes the new host of the Krusty the Clown show, and he revises the show to be more educational. In denial of the crime, Bart enlists Lisa's help in order to prove Krusty innocent. When Bart and Lisa go to the Quickie Mart for clues, they recall the robber reading a magazine and using a microwave. But Krusty is illiterate and he has a pacemaker, which means he has to stay away from things that give off radiation, such as microwaves. When they go to interrogate Sideshow Bob, he just gives them tickets to his show. At the show, Bart points out the magazine in the microwave, but Bob quickly dismisses it, claiming that Krusty never listened to doctors and that you can enjoy a magazine cartoon even if you're illiterate. Later on in the show, Bob claims that he has mighty big shoes to fill. Suddenly, Bart remembers how when Homer stepped on the robber's shoes, he screamed. He also remembers when Krusty walked up the stairs of the courthouse and his feet were small. To prove that Bob framed Krusty, Bart hits Bob's feet with a mallet, and when Bob takes off his shoe in pain, he reveals his huge feet. When the police watch the show, they realize their mistake, and they head to the studio to arrest Bob. Bob reveals that he framed Krusty because of how badly he was treated by him. Then, as Bob gets put into the cop car, he swears revenge on Bart. Treat kids as equals! They're people too! They're smarter than you think! They were smart enough to get me! Krusty is then freed and the town apologizes, and Bart gets a picture with Krusty. That night, Bart is glad that he can now rest knowing that his idol is free. This episode was another unusual one. Krusty's major debut is about him being framed for robbery, but otherwise it's a pretty good episode, and overall critics gave positive reviews. Kelsey Grammer did an excellent job voicing Sideshow Bob, so much so that he became a recurring guest star. This episode started the whole Sideshow Bob rivalry with Bart. We also get introduced to recurring characters such as Kent Brockman, Scott Christian, and Judge Roy Snyder. I also want to point out that after each commercial break, each act of the episode opens with a close-up shot. That was Brad Bird's idea, and I think that it contributes to what makes this episode all the more memorable. 